Hello Gemini, I hope you're all doing well. Thank you for all your likes, shares and subscribes and welcome to the channel. This is a general reading, it might not resonate with everyone. Please take what resonates and leave the rest alone and you might want to look at your moon and rising sign for greater clarity. Okay, we have there's something better. Something better out there for you, Gemini. Let's have a look and see. We have don't let the past hold you back, south node. So let go of the past now because there's something better ahead. And a personal a personal issue reaches a resolution, full moon and cancer. A personal situation reaches a resolution. So things are going to resolve themselves. Let's see what the tarot says. If this doesn't resonate with you, there is a playlist on my channel for November with loads of messages on there that might suit you better. The Knight of Pentacles. The Lover's Card. And the Five of Cups. Yep. The Knight of Wands. The overall energy here is, oh my goodness, unnecessary worry there. The King of Pentacles. The Sun. The Two of Wands. And the Three of Wands. Now, the overall energy here is unnecessary worry. We're worrying, we're anxious, things are weighing heavy on your mind. Some of you are losing sleep. I'm not saying everybody is, but anything that's weighing heavy on your mind. Now, this is unnecessary worry because we must remember that the universe is always working in our favour and there is something better out there for you. Okay, there always is. And this is about your stability and this is about your passionate ideas for yourself here. So we've got unnecessary worry going on here. Now, it can be that you've been through upset, so it's totally understandable. Now, it's saying a personal issue will resolve itself. If it's resolved itself fair enough, if it's not, it's going to. Now, we don't want to be regretting things here. We don't want to be looking at the past here and crying over these spilt cups because we can't refill them. Fives are change and this needs us to change. We need to start to look at our blessings in the present and then we can cross over that bridge, as you can see in the background. If we turn around there and let the past go and stop worrying about what's been or what could be here, then we can start to see our blessings and that changes the energies around you. And what happens with that is you start to move towards passionate new beginnings. Now, Spirit's saying here, uh, don't let the past hold you back. So we'll have to let go of the past now and focus on the present. And this will bring movement forward. Now, there's a choice here. This is the Gemini energy, the lover's energy. Uh, the old idea of that was choice. And it's about choosing now to bring more stable things into our life and go towards what we're passionate about, where there's growth for you. So this could, we could talk about any area of life here. We could be talking about your love life, your relationships, your environments or your finances. But it's moving forward towards growth here. Now, there is another message in here for you. If there is an unstable relationship or non-committal person, friend or romantic opportunity here, person, beg your pardon, a romantic person in your life that's not committing to you or is causing you any kind of upset here, you might have to make a choice here between two people. Because if you believe that there's something more stable for you and something better out there for you, on that card was the Knight of Pentacles. And the Knight of Pentacles is a very solid, stable person or opportunity that's coming forward. So you might have to choose here to go towards, depending, we're not telling you what to do, you have the freedom of choice, everybody does. But if you're wanting a commitment, for example, or you're wanting more stable friends around you, more reliable people around you, that can bring you stability, you might have to let this person go. So don't let the past hold you back if there's somebody coming in and out your life, because there could be a new opportunity here for a relationship coming in, but it could be choices that you're having to make. So it might be a case uh, that if you want a romantic relationship, for example, you might have to let the person go that's unstable, and you might go towards the more, it'll open opportunities up to bring a more stable person in. So it's changing the energies in that sense. Now, this person is stable because they dot their eyes and stroke their teeth. It could be there's a long time coming in because you're going back and forth with this person here and you're blocking the energies for new stable opportunities coming forward. Now, this doesn't have to be a romantic situation we're talking about. 
because this is about going towards growth and passion. So we might want to, for example, think about getting a new job, a new financial plan or a new place to live. Whatever it is that you know where there'll be growth, it's time to go towards that better thing now and stop thinking about past and being upset and overthinking things and how, giving yourself unnecessary worry because there's always new opportunities ahead. Now, this could also be somebody coming forward with that if you wanted to go on a new course. Uh, or go towards a new job or a new creative enterprise. Forget the past now, we're looking forward and there's new opportunities will present themselves here. And this could be a Virgo Taurus or Capricorn energy that's coming forward to offer you the new job, the new course. You know what I mean? That's bringing this stable opportunity forward because there's definitely something better out there for you. So this is going to bring, whatever you're choosing to do is going to bring you greater stability and security in your future. So if we're going towards new jobs, for example, you could invest in where there's growth. You're inspired to do these things. You're inspired to go for promotion. If you get wage rises, you could end up the boss yourself. If there's something creative, you're, if you've got a creative talent or idea, you might want to invest in that. A new course that could earn you more money in the future. A new relationship that could bring greater stability. Because what he's doing here is he's made his choices and he's sitting back and he's enjoying the fruits of his labour. Because the beauty of it is he's went towards things that inspire him, things where he knows there's growth, things he enjoys doing, people he enjoys being around. So that brings growth to your life and it creates great stability around you. So you're going to have financial security in the future. You're going to have stable relationships in the future. All this type of thing, security in every level, because we're prepared to let past disappointments go and stop worrying about what's went on in the past and believing and trusting that there's something better out there for us and we can go towards it. Now, this, therefore, is about choosing a new path. We're thinking there's something better for us. It's about making our choices to go towards this uh, situation for ourselves. And it's also about making long-term plans there for our future. So that's what we should be doing because personal issues will resolve themselves if you let this go and we go towards greater, passionate, more inspiring things. We choose our path. We make our long-term plans. There's beautiful happiness comes in and we create great things for ourselves. We feel stable and secure in every area of our life. So great happiness is coming in. So it's time to Resolve the personal issues. They will come to an end here. Stop worrying about them. Look towards where there's growth and what you want to invest in now. He's got the world in his hands. The world's your oyster. Whatever it is that's going to inspire you, what you want to do here, make the choice and make your long-term plans because you will move towards stability and your pentacles will grow and you'll get the security that you want and need in your life. And all the unnecessary worry will end. Now, the sun is the most suspicious card in the deck. So happiness in every area of your life. So great new opportunities are there for you, uh, Gemini. Uh, it's time to make plans. It's time to make long-term plans for the future here. Pure intention. Pure intention here. Beautiful, beautiful card. The fairy of manifestation will help you to use your wishes wisely. Manifest your heart's desire with pure intention and for the highest good of all. Absolutely. Don't let your past hold you back. It doesn't matter. Today's the first day of the rest of your life. And I hope this helps. Please like, share and subscribe. And I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.